What's up everybody? It's Bill Stebbins from BillStebbins.com. I'm doing a video today because I've gotten a lot of requests from my viewers asking about the IR controlled lighting in my home theater and how to set that up. Um, I'm in the middle of moving one of the uh, the eyes, the receiver, for my uh, infrared repeater system. So I figured I'd give you a quick look at how that works. So there's a couple of wires hanging out of here. This one's just a Cat5 cable for network. This other thing is the infrared eye. And basically what that does is that takes the infrared signal from my remote and sends it through, in, the, in this case, the uh, Cat5E cable over into another box that then repeats that infrared signal to all of the components that are hidden in the closet uh, behind my screen. Um, there's not really a lot of setup to this. There's only basically three wires that are on here. There's a hot, a ground, and a signal, I think is what they are. Um, they are labeled V plus, S, and ground. So signal, ground, and then whatever V plus stands for. You really don't need to know what that is, and I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments. Um, but what you do is you just take uh, the wires you need what I used is a pair for um, for the ground because you need a strong ground on this and then one wire for the signal and one for the V plus and you run those over into uh, the Buffalo repeater and then that will send the signal so it's a very very simple process to set it up um, let me zoom in on this thing you can kinda see this eye so there's what the eye looks like. There we go. So here's the eye. There's a cover that goes on it and I've just got it in a, in a wall plate. There's where the wires go in. Alright, so let's go around behind here and I will show you the other end of this. Okay, so we're in my closet for my home theater. There is my Lenovo home theater PC. There's my Blu-ray ripping machine. There is my HP Media Smart server, my battery backup. Um, the wires are a mess. Yes, I know this. All right, so here's here's the basic system that you want to see, which is uh, the Buffalo repeater. Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. I'm still learning my new camera. Okay, so this is an IR100, and as you can see, here's the other end of the wiring that is coming from uh, the eye that we just looked at. It's running into the same ports. There's 9-volt power or 5-volt power, 9-volt power coming into it. And then we have these, which are infrared um, eyes. They're real cheap on eBay, like, I don't know, 5 or $10. Basically, they're wired up to all of the components that are here. So... Those are some of my components. And so there's an eye that runs to the front, like say for the Xbox. So you can kind of see that right there. It's to the left of, of the, uh, yeah, that's not working too good. It's right here. It's just a little, you've seen these infrared eyes before. They come with the sling box, you had to use them with your TiVo and that kind of stuff. So anyway, that actually controls it. So the signal comes from the infrared eye, it hits this Buffalo Electronics IR100, and then it distributes it out through these things. Um, there's two wires that are coming into mine. I've actually got some of the lighting going to another uh, wall because I've got two different sets of switches. And then, in case you were wondering, this is an infrared uh, controlled desktop dimmer. That is actually for the rope lighting around the screen. Um, so hopefully that kind of explains what you're looking at. That's really all there is to it. Um, these repeaters here are about um, 30 bucks, I think. The eye is a little more expensive, it's around 40. Um, you're going to end up spending close to $100 to get, get one of these going, but it's really worth it because you can put all your components out of the way. It still works the exact same, and you're not going to have to worry about um, whether or not your infrared thing is going to work. Uh, you don't need to buy any RF stuff, and uh, 
So anyway, if you got questions or comments, please leave them in the in the YouTube comments. I'll definitely try and reply and answer your questions about this. Uh, hopefully that was helpful for you guys that have been asking and for you that uh, weren't asking, but now you know. Thanks for watching.